This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is an Aaron cell hooked up as a quad or V, whatever you want to call it. Call it a quad because I'm using actually four sides of each plate. Everyone has been calling it a V, I guess, because I started it. But, in fact, there's space between the top and the bottom is separate, is differently spaced, and the space between the sides are differently spaced. It's a copy of the Widowmaker put to the 3x6. What I'm experimenting here is with, I got an email from somebody the other day that stuck in my mind. And uh, it was a, a great idea. And the idea was that since the cells or the plates are attracting either the hydrogen or the oxygen, why not reverse them? So, in other words, pulse the plates as reverse. I wish it was my idea, but it wasn't. And I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. And uh, His idea was to pulse the plates reverse. In other words, first pulse them so that one plate is positive, the other is negative, and then reverse it. He wanted to put it on one of my relays to make it slow. I think it's a really great idea. Anyway, at least to test. So what I've done here is not using a relay, but it's a four positions. It's actually two position switch. Up switches to the one set of leads, positive and negative, and down switches to the other. So by pushing on this, it makes the plates go positive or negative. And I'll show you. Uh, the other thing is, what I've done is hook, you can kind of look through there. You'll see that there are two leads on each pole of the battery. One's positive, one's negative. So when I switch this, what I'm doing is in fact reversing the poles. So we'll see what that looks like here. So first down, and you see the burst. Now I'm going to switch it up. Down, up, down, up. So theoretically, what we'd be doing is creating that massive surge from scratch on each plate, which may work. Not quite sure how that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is test this out using my switch, and then test it out using the relay, and then if that relay works well, then what we'll do is test it out using the 555 pulse width modulator, which really might do it, who knows. Right now I don't have a amp meter hook to it, but when you stop to think about it, using a pulse width, modulator on this type setup might just do the trick. So if you're watching this video, if you're the one who suggested that, uh, give me a, another email and uh, I certainly will give you the credit for it. So what I've done here, as you can see, I've wired these plates up in the quad system. This is a copy of the Widowmaker in a representation of it anyway. 
This is the air and cell. There's four plates here, and I intend to move this over to the 15 plate system as soon as I can. Meanwhile, for the test, there's your burst release switch to the other plates release burst back down up down up of course now the water is absolutely too full to see what's going on but what we will do with this is we'll put it on the amp meter to see what's going on. One of the problems with the electronic or the digital amp meters is that it's not going to give an accurate reading because by the time it goes from positive to negative it's not going to give us an overall reading. If you have an analog meter it's going to give you a much better reading than this digital one that I have. The digital meters just can't keep up with it. And the problem is you want a average reading, not like the digital is using. So this is going to be interesting, another interesting test. I'll give you another view of the system. Plus and minus one way, and I'm releasing it. Plus and minus the other way, releasing it. 